What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Renewable Energy Investments. So there's been a lot of hype recently about a potential merger of Lucid with Churchill Capital Corp. 4. I'm not going to go into the details of Lucid's business or products. I think we all know they want to be a player in the luxury electric vehicle space. And you can watch some great YouTube videos put out by Lucid itself for that information. In this short video, I'll explain why I doubt I'll be picking up any shares of CCIV at this time. But first, a little background for context. So seemingly out of the blue, last Monday on January 11th, Bloomberg reported that Lucid is in talks to merge with CCIV. And oh boy, did the market like this news. We don't even have the details of a potential deal, or even a letter of intent, and the speculators are already piling into CCIV. We don't even know the details surrounding the funding of the deal, how much Lucid will raise, or how much of the company shareholders of CCIV will own. This is another level of speculation and gambling that, quite frankly, seems to be a reflection of the unhealthy quest for gains that investors are facing right now in light of zero interest rates and likely high inflation. This recent phenomenon of social media mob investing also seems to play a part. I think it's one thing to buy into a SPAC which you don't know the details surrounding at a $10 purchase price, but to pay around $20 for such a SPAC is a bit rich for my liking. In case you didn't know, the Saudi Arabia Sovereign Wealth Fund currently owns over 50% of Lucid. I'll be calling it the Saudi Fund for short. The Saudi Fund and CCIV can tell they have an abnormally high amount of demand for this stock. So I'm very interested to see how this type of demand leverage can affect pricing of the deal. I would note it is pretty sketchy that I've seen claims that Google searches for CCIV in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, in December 2020 spiked, well before Bloomberg reported the news of this potential merger. It appears some insider information may have leaks in Riyadh. Okay, so now let's get right into the reasons why I am not interested in purchasing Lucid stock right now. First and foremost, there's one main reason why I won't be picking up any shares. It's simply not the company I want my hard-earned capital to go to work in. Let's take a step back. This channel, Renewable Energy Investments, is all about documenting the allocation of my capital based upon my beliefs, one of which is my significant concern of combating climate change. Here, we have Lucid Motors, a luxury EV company. At first glance, it seems like it is in line with my vision. However, upon closer look, I believe my hard-earned capital is better used elsewhere. First of all, Lucid is currently backed and owned by the Saudi fund. These guys made more money than they know what to do with by selling dirty oil globally, and many are concerned about how the Saudis have been using all that dirty money and power. I get it, we all need to use oil, but I'd simply prefer not to get into bed with a bunch of oil profiteers who may or may not have questionable ethics. I'd really like to see the Saudis invest heavily in solar energy or some other renewables. The Middle East gets an abundance of sunlight, and because of this, they could enjoy a low cost of energy production advantage over much of the world if they use solar energy to power manufacturing facilities. They could really turn the Middle East into a low cost of production manufacturing juggernaut with all of that natural solar power. Let's use all of that dirty oil money to make the world a better place and make some profits in the meantime. This would be something that I could really get behind. On the other hand, Selling electric luxury sedans to people with $150,000 to drop on a single vehicle simply isn't a business model that floats my boat. My other concern of investing along with the Saudis stems from questioning why they are taking Lucid public right now. My guess is they may be taking it public for one of three reasons. One reason for this move could be that taking the company public could essentially function as an extremely effective marketing campaign to help build product awareness and build a loyal shareholder base that may evolve into a loyal customer base over time. If Lucid becomes a smashing success, a few years down the road, 
Lucid will need to raise even more capital to rapidly expand the business. Or existing shareholders may want to sell some of their shares to diversify their wealth into other assets. Being public would facilitate future capital raises and future stock sales. This is the optimistic scenario. The next two reflect a much more cynical outlook. The second reason for going public could be that Lucid is feeling pressure from a plethora of other EV startups entering the market. Lucid is not entering a more niche area, like electric buses or electric big rig trucks. So I suspect Lucid is well aware of the fact that they will face stiff competition from a variety of US, European, and Chinese electric vehicle companies. Many of these other electric vehicle companies have already successfully raised boatloads of capital and are already expanding rapidly. Lucid may be feeling quite a bit of pressure to keep up with the Joneses. If this is the correct reasoning, let's just say it is less than ideal for competitive pressure to be the driving force behind a capital raise. The third reason for going public could be that Lucid's current shareholders see an insanely hot electric vehicle stock market and are thinking, why not cash out while the getting is good? Again, from a potential buyer's perspective, this is less than ideal. I'd rather buy into a beaten down company like NEO at the beginning of 2020 and ride the turnaround story instead of buying into a company in the midst of an all-time high EV stock frenzy. If I was to guess, I'd say the truth lies somewhere in the middle of these three scenarios. But I figured I'd lay all three of them out as some food for thought. All in all, I'll be passing on Lucid shares for now. If the shares were still selling for around $10, I probably would have considered gambling short term on Lucid by trying to ride the hype, then selling some of my shares for a quick profit. If you are playing the short term hype for quick profits, much respect, and I do hope the CCIV and Lucid merger comes to fruition. Don't get me wrong, this stock could go way higher than $20 per share on hype alone. We've seen it with Hylion and QuantumScape, and Lucid may have more hype than both of them. It could very well turn into a very lucrative move, but there is always a risk that the merger does not come to fruition, or that the actual terms of the merger end up being not very attractive. But do I want to make a long-term investment in Lucid, facilitate the Saudis cashing profits, and prop up a luxury EV company that is likely to have a minimal impact on the climate over the next decade? Not really. I'd sleep better pumping more of my hard-earned cash into an even potentially overpriced Tesla. Let me know what your thoughts on Lucid are in that comment section below. Have I been a bit too critical of Lucid? Am I too biased in favor of Tesla, or have I let my beliefs block a potentially great investment opportunity? Are you playing Lucid as a short-term gamble or a long-term investment? If long-term, I'd love to hear your high-level bull thesis in that comment section below. Also, if anyone wants to see a skeptic's take on Lucid, check out Warren's video. He's got some interesting viewpoints and a healthy dose of questions surrounding some of Lucid's claims. For instance, he points out this clarification Elon Musk made in regards to Peter Rawlinson, Lucid's CEO. According to Elon, Rawlinson didn't design the Model S. Prototype was done before he joined and he left us in the lurch just as things got tough, which was not cool. He did make some contributions to the body slash chassis, engineering, but not powertrain, battery, electronics, or software. With that said, the point of this video was not to be skeptical about Lucid's products or manufacturing capabilities, as I have not done my research and have no opinion in those regards. If you enjoyed hearing my perspective, please consider smashing that thumbs up button, as it helps out my YouTube channel in a massive way. And also, please consider subscribing to this channel for more content on renewable energy investments and electric vehicle stocks. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.